Hello! So today I'm going to be talking about the book Severance by Ling Ma. Um, so Severance is a book about a young woman named Candace Chen who works um, in the Bibles department for a publishing company. Um, she kind of oversees the production of these Bibles and works with the manufacturers in different countries to get these Bibles published. Um, it's not a job that she finds particularly fulfilling or meaningful but um, she comes to see that it's a job that she's good at and um, is very natural for her. So she's kind of stuck in a place where she's not exactly happy, but she's comfortable in this job because it provides a living for her. That's sort of the background of the main character, Candace, here. There's a lot more that I don't know if I'll get into, um, but she's a very interesting character. And she is put in a really difficult situation when a horrible fever that is spread through fungal spores starts spreading across the entire world. Um, this fever, it takes out a large percentage of the population and it causes people to become um, kind of like zombies, but they're not dangerous. They are just like not conscious and not really like alive, um, but they are repeating like daily tasks. So like if you're a writer maybe and you become fevered, you might get stuck in this like dreary cycle of just like scribbling random things on a piece of paper, but you're not actually writing anything because your brain isn't really working. So it's kind of this creepy, depressing um, image of what happens to people once they get fevered. But Candace never gets fevered. Um, for whatever reason, she's not susceptible to the, the fever. So she's a survivor. And so now at the start of the book, that part that I talked about with her working at the Bible company, that's her past before the pandemic. And then afterwards, she is living with a group of other survivors that are in this kind of creepy cult, survivor cult, um, trying to find shelter and trying to form a new society um, after the sort of apocalypse has happened. So there's definitely a lot going on in this book. So now I wanna talk a little bit about the writing in this book. Um, which personally I really enjoyed and really appreciated. Um, I think that Ling Ma is super intelligent and she had a lot of really interesting things to say in this novel. Um, on the back, it says that this is the best work of fiction I've read yet about the millennial condition, the alienation and cruelty that comes with being a functional person under advanced global capitalism. Um, and I think reading a description like that, it kind of makes it sound like this book is gonna be preachy or pretentious or something like that. I actually found it to be really intelligent and kind of subtle in its critiques and it just had a lot of interesting things to say about, you know, how can you be yourself and how can you be your whole self in a world where everything feels like a commodity and everything kind of keeps getting reduced down to its monetary value. Um, which, you know, I think we all sort of feel that way and those are thoughts that a lot of people have. Um, so I found it to be really compelling and um, just I think it had really interesting critiques and themes that were incorporated into this crazy story. And so speaking of the story, um, I actually did really enjoy the plot here. It is eerily reminiscent of what's been happening for the past one and a half years now, ever since COVID and everything. Um, there's a lot about like wearing masks and trying to signal to people that, you know, you don't have the fever and just all this really interesting stuff that reminded me of a lot of the discussion that's going on now. Um, and I, Ling Ma, I don't know if she just did her research really well on how we would respond to a pandemic or if she could see the future somehow, but so much of this reminds me of what happened ever since COVID has spread, um, which is kind of creepy. So if you're looking to get away from everything that's going on in the world, maybe this isn't the best book to read, but it's still, it was interesting to me just to see the parallels to what's actually going on. Um, but anyways, as far as the plot here, I did really, really enjoy it. I really liked the, um, the plot line that happens like post-pandemic when she's living with the creepy survivor cult 
um because there was just a lot of like really crazy disturbing stuff that happened there's a scene where um where candace and a group of her friends that are survivors go to the old abandoned house of one of the other survivors in the group or like childhood home and that scene really stuck with me it was i could not put it down and it was so creepy and that scene was brilliantly written so um i did kind of i like the post apocalyptic parts better than the pre-apocalyptic but they go together really well just to show that her life before and after and um i think it's a really interesting and unique structure for this book and um ultimately i did really really enjoy it i would highly recommend this book I really don't have any critiques for this novel. Um, I will say I've seen some like comments on the back and stuff that seem to kind of make it look like it's a really satirical, funny novel. Um, in my opinion, it, it's not that funny. Um, it's still really good, but it's just, it's not like this like crazy, witty, laugh out loud satire. Um, so I would say, you know, maybe it's a little bit overly ambitious with its marketing and trying to be a little bit of everything. Um, but it is a really great book. It reminded me a little bit of um, Station Eleven, which was also about, you know, the world after a horrible um, disease kills a lot of people and this kind of traveling group trying to survive and trying to find their humanity. So it reminded me a little bit of that. If you enjoy anything apocalyptic, you'll probably like this book. It's really smart. There are a lot of beautiful elements in it. Um, it took me kind of a while to finish, but again, that's just me. Sometimes I like breeze through books and sometimes I have to like really push myself to finish them. So, um, for some reason it did take me a while to finish. Maybe that's something to be aware of, but it's really, really intelligent, beautifully written. Um, and I think a lot of the themes in this book will stick with me for a while and definitely made me think. So I would recommend Severance. Um, apparently Ling Ma wrote this like while working her desk job which is absolutely amazing. So if this is something she can come up with literally at work, then I can't imagine what else she's gonna come up with in the future. So she's awesome and I definitely recommend this book. I would give it an eight out of 10.